Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this video is about the Saturn-Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. We're um, videoing for the December 2020 Star Wheel Astrology and Healing Newsletter, see the blog. So basically, Jupiter and Saturn conjo conjoin in the heavens on December the 21st. Incidentally, that's exactly conjunct Pluto in the USA birth chart. But Pluto also enters Vedic Capricorn on December the 30th. And that's when Jupiter is at 8 Capricorn and Saturn is at 7 Capricorn. So what we have by the end of this month is... Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, conjunction, all in the same sign. It is a horrendous, humongous energy. And the last time the three of them were in the same sign together was actually 1145, 1146. Um, they were all in Vedic Taurus then. And as an example of the mishandling of the energy of this sign, or maybe right handling. No, I wouldn't say so. The Pope called for the Second Crusade. It was understandable in that the Muslims were expanding, but then the Christians had been. The two great monotheisms clashed. The result was something of a disaster for Western Christendom. The crusade was largely a failure. I cite this because it's the only time that the three of them have been in the same sign, you know, recently, and that's nearly a thousand years ago, and it was a crusade. Are there parallels to this time in the mentality of crusade? So the question is, how do we each cope with the Saturn-Pluto-Jupiter conjunction? Um, and I'm doing another video in a moment about what it means for the United States. You see, basically, if we individuals or our societies only experience the negative side of Saturn, this will mean tyranny and harshness draconian harshness, deprivation, austerity. Your life or your society pinned down by tight restrictions, oppressive discipline will be on the rise and the bureaucrats will scurry round scrutinising our lives and our accounts to justify the wages we pay them. Not a nice scene. Creativity will crumble and decay. Or will you seize your light spear and become the light warrior? Often when we're faced with hard circumstances, some of us arise and manifest our creativity and manifest our special spiritual spark. So... It, that is the sort of time we're actually in as I film this on the, for the 1st of December 2020. And you see, it isn't just about Saturn oppressing Jupiter and Pluto. There is also, of course, a, a Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. This has been growing, growing, growing uh, even before Jupiter entered Vedic Capricorn at the end of last month and became very debilitated. But it has to be said that Jupiter-Pluto combination is explosion. It is vastness. Look out for explosion in your expression of yourself in your life. Make sure it's ethical, spiritual explosion of talent and beauty. You see, negatively, Jupiter-Pluto is plutocracy. And plutocracy will be making its demands now, have no doubt, especially as recession is coming because Jupiter is so fallen where he is now in Vedic Capricorn. Um, 
So just to share with you where this vast energy is manifesting in my life, if that's any help to you so you can think where is it manifesting in your life, well I'm actually in Jupiter Saturn Dasha. The Dashas are the magnificent predictive periods of Vedic astrology. More powerful than transits but more in a background sense. And yes, until recently, well, I was in Jupiter, Jupiter first, now in Jupiter, Saturn. I expanded, 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 uh, learned an awful lot, gained an awful lot. But now Saturn has been making me dot all the I's, cross all the T's relentlessly, particularly as he retrograded to standstill recently. OK, he's moving forward now, but it's minuscule movement forward. He is still making the demands of his retrograde for everybody to dot the I's, cross the T's, tie up the loose ends. Are you doing that in your life? Um, basically, uh, Saturn and Pluto were actually together at the start of 2020. I'm mentioning that because it did set a tone for the whole year with the first eclipse of 2020 on the 10th of January, having Saturn Pluto in conjunction. And I think you can so see this obviously in the United States where opposing forces are pitted against each other. Uh, and so Basically, we have to balance the two. Saturn is structure, strategy and discipline. Pluto is going into our darkness. So as to find what's buried there, all our negative points, our fears, our regrets, our shames, but also so often our strengths because our parents didn't want us to be as strong as we could be or this society or our employer didn't want us to be. So at this time, we are actually called to go into our darkness, to liberate the light and power that's there, and at the same time honour Saturn by creating a strategy and a structure for the expression of your light. That is what this energy is about at its highest. Um, you see, if Saturn wins, we are left a robot acting out the rules and the procedures. If Pluto wins, there is darkness and war. But we want to manifest the higher successful combination of the two. So just to share how the Saturn-Pluto energy has been manifesting with me. Well, I have Saturn in the second house, which includes value issues and voice. And I believe I have found my voice in the editing of my fifth novel that I started writing just before we emigrated to Ireland but we had to I had to stop writing with a change of country and two moves of house but now at this time I have been impelled to resume the writing of my novel it's about the Morrigan and the Dagda the great two of the greatest gods of the ancient Irish and of course I also run sacred west of Ireland tours so I'm going to offer vision work in relationship to these great gods once again when the coronavirus restrictions are raised. I was offering them magnificently up to March of this year when lockdown came in. But the point is I'm developing the chapters of my beloved novel through doing vision work. And I'm so grateful for the vision work. I always do it outdoors. It always helps me embody. And to meet these great gods and goddesses and land spirits that Ireland is so full of. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't have much time for writing, but I so love it each evening when I have had a chance. And I'm only telling you this. So in that way, I honestly think I am... It's helping me come more into my power and my talents. Maybe this information will be helpful for you to come more into your power and your talents. And just on the power of Pluto, let me share, Pluto in the heavens is transiting my sun-moon opposition. I was born at the full moon. And Pluto at this moment is actually square the sun and square the moon. 
and basically you know my power I think was considerably held back by a very difficult start in life but I feel and yes thanks to the help of certain other people and you know the many many studies I've done I I feel I'm at last embracing my power look at where your Pluto transit is in your chart get a reading from me to throw light onto this giant energy. My wife Maggie Pashley does many, many wonderful healings online, see www.maggiepashley.com. And also a colleague of ours, Elizabeth Hendricks, has just launched an online Kabbalah course. Um, it's also, it's detailed on the Star Wheel Astrology website. And I have found it so magnificent to experience her transmitting the energy of each Sephiroth and feeling that in my body. You too can do this. In other words, the Jupiter-Saturn-Pluto conjunction brings a lot of terror and darkness, but it can also impel us to embrace the light. Like so many things, it's two-sided, and I hope the perception in this brief video and in the blog help you see the potential of the energy you are living in now. Thank you.